Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and over two years ago, I made a video discussing why, even if you are skeptical of climate change, why you should still support environmental regulations. Now, looking back at that video, whilst the jokes weren't the greatest jokes I've ever made, it did have a lot of good information. But there was one thing in particular that I didn't really talk about. And that, of course, is the issue of waste, whether it be food waste, plastic waste, e-waste, or even just rubbish. Because I don't think that there's anybody on this earth that wants waste just left out on the streets. It doesn't look very nice. I suppose Oscar the Grouch would be happy about that, but he is a fictional character, so he doesn't count. That's what Count Von Count does. Now some people might be wondering why I'm talking about a video that I made over two years ago. And well, it's obviously the subject of this video. But there is also another reason, and that is because the thing that I didn't mention in that video conveniently links into a thing called Team Seas. If you don't know what Team Seas is, well, it's kind of like Team Trees, if you remember that. Now, if you don't know what Team Trees is, then you clearly haven't been on the internet for any longer than a year. But that was aiming to plant 20 million trees by the start of 2020. Now, Team Seas, they're clearly not going to be planting any seas because that makes no sense, but they are aiming to clean up 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Why couldn't they have used something like kgs rather than pounds? I don't even know what a pound is. I mean, I think that it's about half a kilogram, but whenever someone says that they're 130 pounds, that just doesn't register as a weight to me at all. I don't know whether they're a low weight, a high weight, or an average weight. But I am getting sidetracked. My dislike of freedom units aside, the goal here is to raise 30 million dollars to try and clean up 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean by the end of the year. Now if you want to donate, I will be leaving a link to teamseas.org in the description. But I know that a lot of people will be asking the question of why should I care about trash in the ocean? The thing that I find though is that it is a problem that not a lot of people actually see for themselves. Sure, there are videos where you see just piles and piles of trash on a beach, but I never really see that in real life. However, there is a beach that I've been to many times, and I didn't actually notice it until the other day, that there is a lot of rubbish on this beach. In fact, it only took about 20 minutes to fill this bag up. Now I think part of the reason why I didn't notice this until recently is because if you're a decent distance away, something might just appear to be a seashell. And then you get closer and then, oh no, it's a piece of trash. So this could be a larger problem than you'd initially expect. That was the case for me. But hey, you might be someone that goes, eh, I don't really go to beaches, beaches aren't my thing, so I don't really mind if there's a whole lot of trash in the ocean, so what does it really matter? So the biggest argument, of course, is that it kills a lot of marine life. Although, I don't think that there's anyone that would watch this and go, well, I did not know that. Thank you for opening my eyes. I see that we must now try and get rid of all the plastic from the ocean. I think everybody knows that plastic kills marine life. But here's the thing, with plastic in the ocean affecting all life in the ocean, it's going to have an effect on the climate. In fact, oceans are the world's largest carbon sink. And if you don't know what a carbon sink is, essentially it takes carbon dioxide and turns it into things like oxygen. I mean, the name is kind of self-explanatory, isn't it? No, I thought that carbon sinks were the place that Santa gets his coal from. Anyway, when it comes to plastic in the ocean, we actually end up getting these very tiny bits of plastic called microplastics. And these microplastics they impede the growth of algae, and they also interfere with plankton. And in case you didn't know, both plankton and algae both play a role in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And there's also the fact that plastic in the oceans does disrupt the marine food chain, which can be particularly bad for humans. There is an estimated 260 million people employed by the fishing industry. If most of these people were to lose their jobs, that would be something that would affect the world economy pretty badly, I'd think. Now, I know what some people will say in response to this video. They'll say, well, you're unfunny and you should have focused on this rather than this. And that is probably fair. But the main thing that I think that people would probably say about this video is, well, 
30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean really isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things. Because it is true that humans put a lot of trash in the ocean. We put way more than 30 million pounds of trash in the ocean every year. So what difference would 30 million pounds of trash make? And the thing is, it's better than nothing. Sure, it doesn't completely solve the problem, but no single solution will. Because the best way to stop plastic from ending up in the ocean is to stop manufacturing it in the first place. I mean, if there's no plastic being made, then no plastic will end up in the ocean. But unfortunately, I don't think that it's very practical to go up to companies and go, hey, can you please stop manufacturing plastics? Pretty please. Which is why I think that it would be a good idea to advocate for policies that would reduce the amount of plastic that gets made. In fact, some countries like New Zealand and Canada are aiming to ban most single-use plastics. That is a policy that would have a tangible effect on the amount of plastic that we use, thus reducing the amount of plastic that ends up in the ocean. And if you're a free market kind of person, why not buy products that use biodegradable packaging? In fact, some packaging I've seen you can actually put in your compost if you have a compost bin that is. And whilst there are so many ways to stop plastic from ending up in the ocean, that does ignore the fact that there is still plastic in the ocean. Even if we stop putting plastic in the ocean, there is already plastic in the ocean. So obviously, one way or another, we need to clean that up, and that is what Team Seas is doing. Now there'll be people that will say, geez, why is this video just one big advertisement for Team Seas, which it kind of is. And the reason why is because it seemed like a fun thing to do, and I have certainly had a lot of fun with this video. And no, I didn't get paid to make this video, there's just something nice about the idea of making a whole lot of videos as a community, because that's basically what YouTube is doing with this thing. This is not the only Team Seas video that will be uploaded today, I can guarantee you that. 